Hello everybody, what up, what up, what up? What's going on today? Young Brawlin here in Clash Royale with you guys. Guys, I wanna show you some replays of games that I just did about maybe 20, 25 minutes ago. Um, I was doing a live video. Well, at least that's what I thought I was doing, but the whole time my video was not being recorded, guys. My screen was just acting up, I guess. Uh, you'll see this, I did 19 minutes ago, 14 minutes ago, nine minutes ago, six minutes ago. But um, I guess I'll show you guys the replays of these games. These were really nice games, guys. We went to the wire pretty close. So let's go ahead and start off with this Mega Knight, Log Bay, Inferno Dragon deck, guys. We're gonna speed it up a little bit. The opponent starts off with the Skeleton Barrel there, and I had Baby Dragon there for that. So I didn't need to do anything else with that, guys. I was able to take care of that. Now the opponent used, used Inferno Dragon. So I used the Night Witch, because the bats from the Night Witch will be able to help me take care of that in front of Dragon. Here, I kite the Mega Knight using the Golem, bring it from the right to the left, where I have a Night Witch that will help me take care of that Mega Knight. I won't have to spend anything else. Now, I did a Mega Minion there at the bridge, guys, to help me get rid of the Inferno Dragon. And check this out, the opponent goes with the bats. The bats are out of the cycle. I'm, I'm okay with the Lumberjack going through. Most likely, it's going to clear up that tower, guys. Check this out. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So this game, I knew I had to use my baby dragon a lot on the Inferno. Not the Inferno, the Skeleton Barrel. And if not, on the scale, um, on the Goblin Gang a lot. But that did not happen. So I was in bad spot here, guys. So I did a Night Witch to make sure that the Inferno Dragon did not lock onto the tower. I was okay with the miner chipping and the skeletons chipping a little bit. That was my best hope of not losing that tower. Because if the Inferno Dragon had locked onto the tower, guys, I would have lost my tower and a lot of damage would have been done to my King Tower, guys. So the opponent goes with a Mega Knight there at the bridge. I got the, the bats nicely got rid of them with the NATO. Lumberjack comes down, guys, to make sure the Mega Knight does not hit my tower there. And now we just reset. So the game, guys, here we had the game in control because the baby dragon is in our cycle when the opponent is using a skeleton barrel. That's a good sign. I tried to predict the miner. It was a little bit off. I got the bar barrel in time for the skeleton barrel, and we still did not lose that tower, guys. Very important. We're keeping that pressure here. Mega Knight comes out. Well, Golem comes out. The bats are going to distract the inferno dragon just long enough for me to bring my lightning out guys lightning clears that up and the golem is on the tower guys one more hit or the death damage from the golem was able to take care of that and we got the three crown with it so let's go ahead and jump into the second match here guys this one was a little bit a little bit off a little bit weird i've never really seen this type of deck before with the balloon valk archers dark prince arrows Let's go ahead and check it out, guys. I'll show you how this one went out. Well, worked out, guys. Four times just to see. All right, there we go. So the opponent starts off with the belt behind the King Tower on the right side, and I did Mega Minion same lane. Okay. Baby Dragon right here, a little bit in the corner to meet it at the bridge. I did not want my Mega Minion to die, so I sacrificed a Night Witch there, and the bats came out, the Lumberjack guys check out the damage that this play is gonna do here guys after the rage was gone i knew baby dragon will do a lot of damage splash damage with the mega minion on once the archers are out of the way the baby dragon mega minion just almost took care of that tower by themselves guys and i had the mega minion there to um get the valkyrie out of um Valkyrie dead before it got to the tower guys basically because valkyrie's healthy tanky so it does a lot of damage Mega Minion left alone, guys. We got one, I think, hit. I might have missed the second one. But, um, so the opponent goes with the Mega Minion in that same lane. A better play from the opponent probably would have been switch up the lane. Maybe. But, um, here we go. Night Witch. Balloon play. Dark Prince. I blocked the Dark Prince. I got the NATO just in time to make sure the Mega Minion died from the Baby Dragon and got back onto the balloon and the balloon does not get any hit on the tower there guys somehow it hit the night witch so raged up night witch there let's see if 
nope the archer does not die but very low on health there i think i left that one alone as well and i went ahead with the golem i had a feeling we were up a little bit of elixir we were up four elixir at that time guys and um so i went baby dragon in the left side guys i made a little bit of a mistake here you I'll, I'll stop the play for a little bit just to show you for some reason i thought the baby dragon will hit the dark prince there but the mega minion blocked it and uh that just got to the tower there guys that was really nice i did a barbaro lightning play but the baby dragon was already dead so that did not really work out in our favor here guys you'll see i tried to go for the three crown there with the lumberjack but the uh mega minion and the archers there were able to defend that stop the play easily let's go ahead and single elixir i did a baby dragon to do higher damage early damage to the valkyrie and baby uh dark prince and the balloon is making its way to the tower i left it alone just to make sure that i have enough to push for the three crown here on the king tower guys because i did not want to spend my elixir and leave the golem just without any elixir with it so when i supported it with the lumberjack i had a nato that was enough for me to do a lot of damage on the king tower guys as you're seeing night witch raged up and i have lightning too and lightning comes out the night witch was cleared the way it was cleared and it hit the tower for the three crown guys I would show you this match here, but this one was an overtime game, guys. It was about five minutes, and uh, it was a tiebreaker game. So we're not going to go into that one. Let's go ahead and check this one out. This was a tiebreaker. Um, it was a pretty close game. We made a little bit of a comeback in that one, but um, let's go ahead and check this one out here, guys. I'm going to speed up a little bit until it's four times. So the opponent started with the goal. I went ahead and do a little bit of a pressure play on the left side to make sure the opponent cannot really support the golem the way it should be supported. So I left alone the bandit. The bandit gets a charge and a couple of hits or one hit. Night Witch here. It was a bad play for me here. I should have done the baby dragon first. I did not think the mega minion would die there from the wizard. But now I know guys. I'm learning as I go as well guys. So baby dragon there from the golem takes care of the golem there guys here i was able to got i was able to get a golem in front of the night witch and the inferno dragon here you'll see what i'll do to the inferno dragon guys i had a nato and i was able to nato that away from the golem the bats were distracting it just for enough time if you see that guys the golem gets a lot of damage on the tower the bandit comes on the left side we had a lumberjack ready for that one so that doesn't get any hits on our tower here comes a lumberjack i started the night witch because i figured there's an inferno dragon the bats will be able to take care of that for me i did a barbell which i should not have done i thought the bats with the night witch will probably take care of that tower and get some hits but the mini peko is there in the opponent cycle but that's okay because bar barrel is basically like a, uh, a cycle card. So just to get rid of it, you want your three elixir, four elixir card, cards in your hand. You know what I mean? Like a mega minion, baby dragon. Sometimes it's good to do that play. So the opponent starts with the golem in the right lane. I went ahead with the golem in the right lane. So now we have to defend against Inferno Tower and the wizard, which is the two things that are going to kill the night witch and the golem i sacrifice the lumber but the golem pushes the lumber back it locks on to the mega minion which i did not which i did not want to happen but that was okay because it was okay because the golem got through inferno dragon did not lock on to the golem but check this out guys this is so much going on i don't even know what to say so the golem comes out from the opponent the night witch and the baby dragon are locked onto the golem i have everything raged up because the lumber died there guys and mega minion the wizard is out of the way here i figured the opponent would end up <laughs> oh the bandit was caught by the lumberjack that was not on purpose guys that was 
I did not predict that. That just happened at perfect timing, guys. So I was able to start a night witch here on the left side, right? And uh, with the help of the golem, we were able to kite the mini P.E.K.K.A., distract the wizard just for enough time, and the lumberjack. We got the wizard out of the way. And now we're going to have a baby dragon go through. The wizard was going to kill all of that. So I got a I got a native play just to get rid of the wizard. Get the wizard out of the way. This was a crazy game here, guys. I had to be a little bit careful. So I start off the Night Witch a little bit higher because I knew what happened in the last play. There was a bandit there. I did a golem in the pocket, guys. The pocket golem will get to the tower a little bit faster than the other golem at the bridge wheel. If you can see right there. The golem got to the tower and just enough time I was able to NATO that away and we picked up that left tower there guys. Pretty close, pretty close game guys. Now let's go ahead and check out this last game, last match that I went into. It was also another golem match. Golem mini P.E.K.K.A again it looks like. Should maybe make it a little bit faster until so i started the golem and the opponent starts with the golem so at this point i did not want to drop anything until one i saw something from the opponent first and two i want the golem to get to the bridge before i drop anything you'll see i dropped something higher at the bridge lumberjack at the bridge and i'm not dropping anything else because i'm afraid the opponent has some sort of a spell that will destroy anything that I dropped there so I don't drop anything else there because I know there's gonna be a spell coming right here so now we just reset we have a little bit of an elixir lead but um not enough but the golem is out of our cycle so we can't really do anything that was a little bit of bad play I should have done that when the rage was there it would have probably done a lot more damage so here I dropped a golem you see i was thinking about something should i drop baby dragon or golem i went with the golem because i decided that i'm okay with getting that damage done to my tower i'm okay with that because i have enough to support my golem that way i can load up a play with night witch and a baby dragon if i want to but i don't use night witch because of the poison in the opponent cycle guys i started with the baby dragon and i have a lightning perfect timing the mini pekka is gone the night witch is gone and the baby dragon is basically gone guys you'll see here the golemites are distracting the tower and the zap comes out from the opponent too so a lot of elixir was spent there i dropped the mega minion again one more time again because i saw the poison guys i did not want to drop my night witch here until i saw the poison out of the opponent's cycle so we're just gonna have this play go through possibly have a baby dragon and nato everything together like a similar play before guys i did everything raged up and when the baby dragon does damage splash damage raged up it's a lot of damage guys and there you can see we were able to pick up the tower opponent tried to have another go at it but we were doing everything higher at the bridge to make sure the golem does not get to the tower guys so there we were able to pick if that went up as well that brought me up to 63 87 here guys i need to go and play on this 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 is my all-time high on my all account guys 61 49 as you can see we achieved it in this season but right now on my main i'm at 63 87 we'll do more matches later on but unfortunately i can't do any more right now i hope you guys like that gameplay there uh guys don't forget to hit the like subscribe let me know in the comment down below and turn on your notifications so you can stay tuned to for the giveaway that's happening at 500 subscribers guys so don't forget about that and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching guys and enjoy your monday peace brawling out